Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And then finally, just put the plow on. I'm gonna grease it up, I need some add glue. And then we're gonna get plowing in. The grassy turned up this morning, so we wanna crack on with it and get it in the ground as quickly as possible uh, before we get too much rain. But I don't think we've got any for a little while, so I'm just gonna uh, get some add glue and then we'll set off. Right, just had a vet check to uh, do some PD and so I just did that. Back to getting this plow ready to go so i'm just going to grease it up in a sec here's our plow i'm not sure if you've seen this before probably not it's only a little four furrow down as well i've had it since i remember since i was little um we did do change the main headstock bearing maybe a couple a bit longer three four years ago but other than that i don't recall redoing really much to it it's um gone on fine for us i'd like to get a bigger one but at the minute we don't really have the work for it so we shall stick with this little fourth arrow maybe next year if we're going to be ripping up more lays but right i've got the ad blue we had a new drum delivered this morning so i'm going to put it up where it belongs and then i'll get some ad blue to go in the tractor Bow's all greased up i've just greased everything um and i'm just going to go and make a start today i'm not going to have time to do very much because it's four o'clock and i'm going to have to start doing the cows at five-ish so um, I'm going to do as much as I can and just get it set up so tomorrow I've got um, plenty of time to crack on. Yeah, we'll go and uh, I'll show you how I make a start. Now, I'm no professional at plying. I've not done a lot of plying at all to be honest. Um, we've just never really done much. Um, Dad knows probably more than I do. But it's burying relatively well I, I think. Got a bottle there quite not bad soil up here to be honest um but yeah it's fairly well but i started over here and went outwards i know some people plow in first but again i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure i need some lessons but um yeah i think it's all right for some reason on the way back it's not cutting a straight edge here you can see it's cut quite a nice straight edge but on um, this way it's not cutting as well as going that way so it must be something set up not quite right but to be honest if my tires are a bit too big for this little plow they're only 12 inch furrows but yeah she pulls it easy she doesn't even know it's there really like i say it's only a little four furrow could do with an extra furrow but we work with what we've got um i'm gonna carry on here for a minute i'm sure dad will come out and tell me i'm doing it wrong and should be doing this but we'll see a little bit of a kink, I need to straighten up. Don't have any GPS, so I'm doing it all free hands. I'm trying to keep it as, as straight as I can. Um, but yeah, I'll carry on going and uh, I'll be back with you when I've done a little bit more. Right, I've done a little bit now. Well, I've done a couple more passes, straightened up a little bit, so hopefully I can try and keep that straight. I was watching Crawford plowing the other day and his were lovely straight rows but he had GPS so I'm going to say that's cheating um, but anyway I'm going to try and keep it straight I just thought I'd show you this is a headland turn system I, again I've never used before I just worked out how, how to use it so essentially we've got a record button here so I'm going to press record and I'm going to tell it I want to go up and when the plow lifts up and then when the plow's right up I want to flick the spool to spin the plow over and then I press stop and that records the sequence so I'll show you when I get to the other end all I have to do is save that and I just have to press the headland turn button and it will do it all automatically instead of me pressing up and then flicking the spool valve I can just press headland turn and it does it all on its own so I'll show you that at the other end just getting to the other end so when I'm at the hedge, I just slow down, press the headland turn button, it says run in sequence, it lifts the plow up, and then it spins the plow over all automatically. I haven't touched anything, so that is the headland turn all set up, which is quite nice because I remember my brother plowing uh, a few years ago when we were quite a bit younger, and you'd get to the end and lift it up and then forget to turn it over, whereas this way you can't forget because it does it all for you. Um, but that's quite clever on this new tractor. I've never had a tractor with headland turn on it, so it's definitely a nice feature to have. But, yeah. 
Right, I'm going to crack on and I'll speak to you guys when I've got a reasonable amount done. Got a bit of a problem. Love to say that these spots on my windscreen are rain, but I believe they're oil because there's no longer a pipe there and there should be. So I'm pretty sure pipe burst or come completely off or hot pipe. Yep, the pipe has blown right off. I did wonder because they're pretty perished. You can see that's come right off. off there. So that's going to be me done for the day and the power's stuck in this position because um, that's when it blew. I'll just go around the other side. So yeah, it's just blown the fitting off the end there. But I'll get a new one tomorrow, but yeah, I'm not going to have time to get one today. So that's my day's ploughing done. Um, the plough is just going to have to stay like that for tonight because I can't flip it back over. But never mind. But I got I was getting on quite nicely there. I was getting in the in the groove of it. Not a bad line. I'll take it. It was burying quite nicely. I'd sped up a little bit there. But yeah, I don't think that looks too bad for an amateur. But anyway, I'm gonna go back and uh, yeah, take that pipe off, and I'll get a new one tomorrow. Just got back to the yard, and there's the problem. It's just blown off the end there. The uh, crimping just given up. So that screws on there, and then that's the spool block that goes to the ram that turns the plow. So yeah, that's just blown off the end there. So I'll have to get a new pipe. But look at this pipe. I might change that one as well because he doesn't look very good either. They're old pipes, I don't think we've changed them for a long time. So they're probably due a change, but plow shined up nicely. Um, I'll get those parts tomorrow and I'll be able to carry on. Dad's just got back of a load of stone, he's been holding 50 mil scalps. He had two load, I think mean, he's gonna get uh, five or six more tomorrow. So yeah, I've just given the track a quick, quick wash because it was covered in oil. Um, so it's cleanish for a minute. It was quite dusty earlier because of um, it's been on the straw chopper to get us covered in dust. So giving her a quick wash and she looks quite quite tidy for a minute. So yeah, we'll get that pipe fixed tomorrow. Just gonna help Dad unhitch the trailer and put the put the feeder wagon back on. But anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Pipe is now repaired and I'm back to it. Um, this is the day after the last clip. Um, I've had to bed up and feed up and stuff this morning. So a bit of a late start flowering. It's just gone three o'clock. So uh, I'm not gonna get loads done today, but I wanna try and get as much done as possible before I have to go feed cows and stuff. It's playing all right, not too bad. Just ignore my wobbly line. I'm trying my best to keep it straight, but it's hard with uh, our GPS. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get going and uh, I'll catch up with you later. Got a good amount done, probably a third of the field, but I've got to go and uh, start feeding up and things now. So, yeah, everything's going smoothly though, other than me having to finish for today. But it's um, burying not too bad, it's coming up quite nicely. Plenty of moisture in there, so um, hopefully get it power harrowed in the next day or so. I don't know, Dad might start power harrowing it tomorrow while I carry on ploughing. And, um, then we can get the grass seed in. We're gonna. I spoke to the, our friends that have a grass seeder, um, so they said so we can borrow that. So that'd be ideal. Maybe put the subsoiler on the other tractor, subsoil through these ruts because they've dried out a lot since I spread the dung. Uh, maybe not quite those deep ruts, but definitely this bit where the um, dug heap is. 
and I'm probably going to leave this little area here and maybe see it at a later date because we've got the bonfire there um, and uh, the ruts like I said um, I might bring some dung out here anyway um, when we clean out so probably leave that little patch there but yeah got a good amount done anyway I'll speak to you in the next clip which will probably be tomorrow me carrying on farming another nice day but it's pretty chilly today actually this is day flipping three of me plowing probably is uh my brother's away at the minute here and so he's on holiday in tenerife so i have to try and just do the bits of plowing in between feeding cows and stuff like that whereas normally if kieran was here i'd be able to just keep going and he could feed up and stuff so yeah, it's taken longer than I would have liked, but I'm not going to get it done today either because I've got to go somewhere at 2 o'clock, so um, it's currently 11 o'clock now, so a couple hours. Well, I've got to be there at 2, it's about an hour away, so yeah, a couple hours of ploughing, but yeah, we'll see if we can do a bit more. We are getting there slowly. I've, well, I've done well over half. Um, but like I said, I'm going to leave a little patch up there. It's getting a little bit wetter over this side. Hope you can hear me alright because of the wind. But yeah, we're um, it's turning over quite nicely to be fair. It's nice and fluffy. Possibly a little bit wet, hopefully it'll dry out a bit. It's fairly windy today and the sun's out so it should dry it out a bit before we put our harrow because it's not that sticky but it's just a little bit moist. But yeah, it's uh, looking all right. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Plowing again because I've got a goat. I'm going to go have some dinner and then I've got to head somewhere. So yeah, hopefully it'll dry dry it out a bit. But uh, I want to get the mole plow on this bit because it's really compacted where um, the dung heap was. And then where the water is, I'll probably leave that for a minute to dry out a bit more. Um, I might level it off. It'd be nice to um, throw in a bit more area out there, to be fair, to um, stack bales on and things. So as you can see, we've got a big pile of bales there and a big pile there. So we've got plenty of bales left, but I don't think that's a bad thing considering the price of fertiliser this year. And no one really knows what the uh, weather's going to be like to get grass off, so yeah. I think this little spot here might still be a little bit wet, but should be able to get through it with a plow. So yeah. Anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow, I expect, when hopefully I finish plowing. Right, we're in the 210 now for a minute. I've just moved the 225 out of the way, put the mole plow on, or not the mole plow, the subsoil on the back of this one, because I'm up to those ruts and the uh, wet patch where the um, dung heap was and I want to just mold plow a few passes up through there sorry I dropped you I want to mold plow a couple passes up through there um, to just re reduce the compaction there so oh. well, I was just talking to dad and he said it's dried out a lot since um, since yesterday it's really cold wind today I've got, got my got my woolly hat on because it's flipping freezing so um yeah i'm just going in just this little patch here up to those ruts just to get the compaction out because i finished plowing here and i'm just getting onto this rough stuff so i wanted to subsoil it before i get on plowing so i'll crack on with that and then i'll be back just pulling up through where this dung heap was so you can really feel where we've been driving and it's really compact in the ground and Tractor's definitely working quite hard to pull through it. I'm having to uh, lift up the subsoiler a bit in places because it is uh, still struggling. A little bit wet there still, but I think that'll power for it. And then I think me and Dad are going to try and pump some of this water away tomorrow um, just to get rid of the worst of it. Because the weather's quite decent, it's been drying a lot, especially with the wind and it being dry. But yeah, I'm going to carry on till I get over there. Right, done with that little bit of subsoiling. Now back into the 225 to get the plowing finished. So yeah, got a little bit muddy there. 
and a bit wet. But um, hopefully it'll drain some of that water away by um, breaking up the soil. Yeah, we'll get back in the plough and try and finish. Well, I don't think I will finish it today, but probably tomorrow or something like that. Yeah, I'll catch up with you in a minute. You can really see here the difference between how much it's dried out from yes what I did yesterday and what I'm doing today. Yeah, that, that wind is really drying out, but it does need drying out. It's quite wet underneath, but it's not a bad thing. So I'm just planning the headland out now. I've finished the majority of the field, but I've ploughed outward, so the gully is in the, going to be in the field because last year I ploughed inward, so the gully was on the edge of the field. So over there, when we did maze, the sensor for the maze header kept sensing the gully on the edge and kept cutting too low, so I ploughed outward to fill the gully on the outside of the field. So there'll be the gully in here, but when I power harrow it will just fill that over. Right, we're finally finished. You can see all done. Just finished the headlands. Sorry if it's a bit windy. But yeah, it's a little bit wet. You can just see it's a bit shiny here, so it's a little bit wet in this gully. But um, with this wind, hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, with, <coughs> with this wind, it should uh, dry out fairly nicely. You can see that that half's a lot drier because um, I ploughed that yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's definitely made a difference. But I've just left this little area here, but I'm not too worried. It's not very much room. But yeah, anyway, that's the ploughing done. Um, in the next video, we'll get rolling and get power harrowing. I'll show you how that all works. And then we'll get it seeded, get some grass put in. Hopefully the weather stays quite nice. So yeah, hope you've uh, all enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, give it a like. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.